Okay, so this video is going to show you how to create a bar graph for your restaurant project. I already have a sample done in front of me, so how do we get this bar graph? Um, I'm going to show you how to create that. So maybe your question, these are the, this bar graph would be for four of your questions that dealt with categorical data, not the numerical questions, not, not the history. So for the first question I had, you know, what type of table you prefer, notice that you have you have to type in your um, information first. So this is really your frequency table um, in the first two columns. I'm going to do another one. So let's say uh, food type. Maybe your multiple choice question involved what type of food would you like? And maybe you had um, French, Italian, um, Mexican, or Chinese. Okay. And then the second column would be the frequency of how many people answered, you know, for those results. So maybe in the class of 30, you had 12 people say French, um, 13 people say Italian, three people say Mexican, and two people say Chinese. It's about 30 students. So how do we get this information to become a graph? Well, it's important when you type this in that the first column is what you want across the x-axis. So is that your independent variable? Um, the food type would be the different categories, so we want that across the x. The second column has to be what you want the y-axis to be. So we want to have the bars be as tall as the number of people who voted for it. So we want the frequency there. Once you have this information, you're going to click on the top left corner, click and hold while you drag to highlight all of those boxes. If you don't have a blue box over, you did not highlight that information yet, so you need to do that. I apologize for making this video outside, so if you hear some noise in the background, that's just a plane flying by. Anyways, so you're going to click and highlight to make that table. So again, click and hold that in while you drag to highlight all of that information. And then we're going to go to insert while that information is in blue. Insert chart. So click insert chart now. It's going to pop up. It's going to give you some recommended chart types. But notice that these are not all the chart types. So I pretty much always go to chart types. If you click that tab, it's going to show you all the different chart types that you can do. Don't be afraid to click and try and play around with this. So if I scroll down, I, I don't really want a line graph. That doesn't make sense for this. So I'm going to scroll down until I get to the column graph. This is what I would consider a bar graph. Now you could try some of the different ones. Stacking doesn't, we don't have stacked information here. We could do a sideways bar graph, but we don't normally see that. So I'm going to do the traditional column bar graph. You could try some of these if you check, check mark these. Um, sometimes they change things. We don't want to switch the rows and column. Look at that. We definitely don't want frequency across the x-axis. Um, we do want to use the row as the header. If I uncheck this, notice that um, now I have this food type here, and I don't want that. So I'm going to click that. And I do want to use the column A as labels. If I uncheck that, um, well, I guess it doesn't do anything. But you can see that this is what we want, OK? So once you have your bar graph, go don't forget to click customize. This is where you can change things. So I don't want my title to be frequency versus food type. I want my title to be what type of food um, restaurant would you eat at the most? Maybe that was your question from your survey. If it wasn't, I would probably make it whatever your question was from the survey. Um, but what type of I'm just going to say, what type of restaurant would you eat at the most out of these options? Okay, maybe I want to make that title a little bigger. I can make it a little bigger here. I can make it bold. Um, I could change this, the color. Maybe I want purple. All right, so the legend. This is the legend. I don't really need a legend, but I could move it if I want to move it to the bottom. I'm just going to say none because I don't need it. The background color. Maybe I want to have, you know, a light yellow background or a light... Um, blue background that kind of looks gray, so I'm going to go with pink. Um, and maybe I want the font to be the wide. I want it to be a little brighter. Cool, I'm liking how that looks. You can try these. The stack doesn't do anything. The maximize, uh, I don't see the titles then, so I would like to not have it be maximized. I want to see these titles. Reversing it is just going to reverse the order. I don't need to do that. Um, horizontal axis is right here. I already have food type in because it's from your table, so that's perfect. I could check on the left 
I could click on the left ver vertical axis and change frequency if I want, but it's already good. If you made the table this way, you won't need to change any of that. As I continue, continue scrolling down, um, the axis label, you can try to play with this if you want to do like 0 to 14. That changes what it's counting by a little bit. Allow bounds to hide the data. Yeah, I would want to see that. You could even change the grid lines here. So if I wanted to count by two, I would really want seven lines. And now look, by putting in major seven major lines, I've given myself a vertical axis that counts by two. So you can play around with that. Minor, if you want to add in like one little line in between, I don't really like those, but we can make this a little darker. Now it shows up a little better. So that looks nice. Um, I would leave the number format from the data, and I would leave the frequency. If you want to change the bars colors, you can change that. And that's about it, guys. So now just click Insert, and there's your graph. We see the graph that we created, and we can move it right here next to the table. This is perfect. Let me know if you have any questions. I will be happy to help you in class.